Hi guys, Blood Friends here. As you can see, Dolby Dog in the background. Right, as you can see by the title, have I found the right first aid bag for Dolby Dog? That's the question. As you all know, this was her first aid kit. It's one of them. I've got two. I have one in my jacket kit, and she had loose so I have one of them. She has this one in her bag. Then I went and got this one. This one here I don't actually like. I've never shown this one. But yeah, it's not good. I don't like it at all. You basically have to rip that open and you pull that out and then that's what that's where you put your first aid stuff on i didn't like it the reason why i didn't show it so if anybody else can recommend or send a link of how to set one of them up one of these first aid pouches up i would appreciate it but as you all know that's my first aid kit that's the group the first aid kit and when i like to say great i mean great i won't take it on my own because that's Far too big for one person. I normally I got another one, I guess, or say my jacket, as you all know. And I'm big on first aid stuff, so yeah. <sighs> so we won't go into that one because we've all been through that one. I'll leave a link in the corner if you want to see what's in it. So because that has not changed. Right, as I said, that was her first aid pouch. Now I bought this, which is amazing find. It cost more money than what I was expecting to pay, but. At the end of the day, it came with some first aid stuff, so more complaints as well. And that is this one. That is a Dis Discovery Adventures. Um, oh, yeah, Discovery Channel Adventures. So it's basically a survival first aid. Yeah, that's what we call it. 48 piece, 2 litres, dry bag, dry sack. So, I will be doing this in a test later. So, yeah. And as I said, this will be going in Dolby Dog's bag. It, the problem is, it is still quite bulky compared to this one. So as you can see, it's quite big. So we're still iffing and burning on that. Let's see what's inside of it, shall we? It says 42 pieces. I've been through this one, so I've put a picture up on Instagram the same day I'm actually doing this video. So, but this will be going up on the... Hang on, sorry, I've got to look. <laughs> Eighth of March, so yeah, do a point choice about that. Right, so in here it has two piece safety glass, stupidly cheap scissors, a gauze wound pie five by five. Sorry about that. It's some rubbish. Another gauze pad, safety pins. Two larger gauze pads, a comfy bandage, whatever you want to call it, a triangular bandage, that's a look, a quite nice thick one, but I'm just going to see what I take out. As I said, I'm not first aid, I'm not a first, I'm not medical trained, so get your medical trained yourself, guys, because I'm medical trained for myself, I am first aid trained, but I'm not a medical professional. Hey, tweezers. Don't look like they're gonna really do any job. Whistle. Yeah, it looks alright. We'll blow it. I don't believe in blowing it, but you can't blow this on a thing. Oh, what a comfort dressing. A foil emergency blanket, a nice emergency foil blanket. We'll see how thick that one is later. A mouth shield. Not quite. That's a different one. Two, uh, a few more last items I thought was good was a rubber tourniquet or tourniquet, whatever, tourniquet, whatever you want to call them. And then in here, there is some antiseptic cleaning wipes, some plasters or band aids, that you guys call them in America and Canada, and some alcohol pads. I might even keep that kit together and stick that in another place in my room, another place in my of my system and the bag itself. Right. This cost me five pounds from the range. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave a clip with me dunking this in water or filling this up with water and see what happens and then dunk it in water. I might just dunk it in water and sort of jet. So I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.